Hi and welcome to Healthy Life Hacks. I'm Jennifer Jeffries, the present day wise woman, a realistic naturopath coming to you from the surfing beaches of Australia. This podcast is for those of you who are wanting to really rock your life and health and live from a place of prevention. Let's get into today's episode. If you are not in the arena, getting your ass kicked on occasion, I'm not interested in or open to your feedback. There are a million cheap seats in the world today filled with people who will never be brave with their own lives, but will spend every ounce of energy they have hurling advice and judgment to those of us trying to dare greatly. Their contributions are criticism, cynicism, and fear-mongering. If you're criticizing from a place where you're not also putting yourself on the line, I'm not interested in your feedback. Brenna Brown said those words, and I 100% agree, 100% agree. I find it crazy that some of us are out there seriously putting our asses on the line, totally knowing that anyone can attack us from a gutless position following social media and stuff like that. It is a crazy world. I know damn sure that... In the previous life, when we didn't have access to this kind of stuff, the people would not have the guts to look you in the face and say the stuff that they say to us online through social media and stuff. It's bullshit. I call really call bullshit on it. If you're not in the game, today I want to talk about this in my podcast. So let's dive in. So what do we do? What do we do? How do we um, effectively respond to those people who doubt, belittle, wrong us, just put shit on us, as we say in Australia, not through uh, confrontation, not through retaliation, but by us, well, I choose to do it, by me achieving my own goals and absolutely fl- um, flourishing. So part of that for me is that, you know, I think so much of Gandhi. Gandhi, he brought such big change to India through peace never fired a shot, never raised a weapon, just took it on. However, he stayed steadfast in his goal and he just kept coming from a place of heart, from a place of service and to bring change in the world. And he inspires me. Absolutely. He is why I choose to not in, get in a, not to engage in a backwards and forwards kind of thing because it's more powerful and more constructive just to get out there and bloody rock your life. I think it is anyway. So success kind of becomes a form of revenge and it comes through us growing ourselves, okay? So when someone is um, put down, whatever in whatever way like I'm talking about, the normal default in you could be, as it used to be in me in the past, to just go, you know, to literally stand my ground and fight. The thing is we all have our own reality. We all have our own reality. I can't change their view. And they could be people who would not have the guts to stand and look me in the face and say exactly what they're writing on social media, for instance. In most cases, I would bet that they they wouldn't have the guts to do it. But I choose, I choose. Gandhi inspires me. And I choose to not feed the monster. I do. I do. We get to choose. We get to choose to feed the monster. And what I call feeding the monster is getting sucked into their game. Me defending that I'm right against their thinking that they're right, it doesn't go anywhere. We can't convince any of that kind of stuff anyone else that what our mindset or or where we're coming from is is it. It's not worth the waste of energy. It isn't. So I choose to pick my battles. I really do. And we get to choose in that process of picking our battles whether we hand over our power to them or not. And I'm not going to hand my power over to anyone. I'm not. I choose to channel my energy into growing me, growing me and achieving my goals and being um, or having a positive um, outlet response to whatever it is that they're amping up about because I'm not going to, I'm just not going to get back into a back and forwards kind of thing. I I grew up in an angry house, an angry home, and it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. I'm not going to hand over my power. I choose to keep it. So I do it by not trying to prove people wrong. That's feeding the monster. Okay. I use it to be 
more maybe innovative, more creative in the way that I would address whatever it is I'm I'm addressing um, in a in a post or a podcast or whatever it is. Um, and I let my efforts, I let my success be louder than any words, any words that retaliation would be. And I think that it sends a clear message to them that I'm not going to play their game. That's it. And my self-worth and self-esteem and self-confidence can't be chipped at by them. Now, sometimes do I have to take a deep breath and, and walk away, so to speak, to not want to because I just think, what the fuck? How dare you? You just really, you wouldn't have the guts to say that to me in my face. What are you doing? Um, and I don't. I If that thought process comes up, which it can, truly, trust me, it really can, I take a breath, I ground myself, I rig my toes, I get back physically in my body, and I just think, no, no, you can't steal my peace. I'm delivering whatever it is. You know, even at the moment, I'm and I've been feeling this a lot because I've got a new book about to come to market. It will launch around the world on, this, on the, uh, the equinox, the 21st of September. And, you know, it's a, I find it a scary thing, putting my ass on the line out there to the public waiting for whoever is going to the haters and the naysayers and that to have their piece of me. And I just choose or my my choice to still put content out into the world is because I want to help the people who will resonate with me versus hold my life back for those who will never resonate with me. So it's kind of like a silent, powerful rebuttal that has a much stronger and lasting impact than any head-to-head -head fight would be that if I went, no, I didn't say that, or I didn't do that, blah, 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 that, that won't work. It doesn't. That, that, that grounded certainty, me keeping my peace and just getting on with my life and helping those who want to be helped by what I can do, I think is far more, far more um, powerful than getting into a head-to-head -head fight with someone. I, I just think. I think that feeding the monster only only creates it's like a self-perpetuating cycle of, of anger and resentment and it's emotionally exhausting. It really is. And it does nothing to help build my self-worth and self-esteem. None, nothing. And just waste bloody precious time of my life. So if you've been in situations where you've noticed or if you notice you start to feed the monster, stop, take a breath. Wriggle your toes, get back in your body, get out of your head, get into your heart. And I'll go, I, I say to myself, it's all right, I'll let you be right. You be right in your mind. I'm getting on with my life. And what it does is it helps to, to move the focus from one of draining my energy to one of just going settling and grounding again, which is really important. I think that um, that ripple effect that comes from us not feeding the monster because that monster is it is out there and it's real nowadays because of all the 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 um the technology kind of platforms that allow it to be um i think it's even more important for us just to be successful in whatever it is and it's not about hey, big make billions of dollars in business no it could be successful in your relationships it could be successful at me playing ukulele and not putting up with people saying, Jen, that's a, like, it's a kid's instrument. What are you doing? Like, it's it's doing it for us. And I, I really believe that the ripple effect, as we succeed, as other people see that we don't get into a shit fight with them online and stuff like that, I believe that we inspire others and we give others permission to take a stand for themselves as well and to hold hope knowing that they can over, overcome kind of challenges like this as well, not lose their peace, and that we eventually, you know, we're building a stronger, more empowered community where we can just keep lifting everyone up versus or so that, you know, those who are being lifted up and, you know, we'll, and in the action of us lifting other people up, we feel good about ourselves and it makes it harder for those naysayers, those haters, all those kind of things to knock us down in the future. I believe, I really believe that we can change 
the narrative in life that is out there at the moment. This technology is not going away. And I love it because it means I can reach so many more of you than I could have ever done in the past. So I'm I'm a big lover of technology, technology, and I get to use it how I want to use it. And I choose to use it in a way that my peace doesn't get stolen and that I can only help other people with it. To do that, I won't feed the monster. I won't feed the monster. So if you've noticed in the past that you've fed the monster, it's okay. It's a new day. Moving forward, keep keep your peace. Please keep your peace. We get to choose whether anyone steals our peace or not. We really do. Stay in your heart. Stay grounded. Come from a place of service. And just don't feed the monster. See you. See you. I want to thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed my podcast, please let me know by leaving a review on Apple Podcast. Every month, I draw one lucky person who leaves a review, have a free one-hour consultation with me. Be sure to subscribe to the show wherever you're tuning in from so that you always catch the next episode. I welcome your emails and you can write to me at podcast at healthylifehacks.com.au. Until next time, remember, when it comes to life, live it, love it, and get on with it.